tell you where the fish are. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. 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 Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Posky Outdoors coming to you again from central Pennsylvania. We've been here almost the entire week. Today we're at Canoe Creek. We didn't plan on coming here, folks. We just had a little bit of extra time. Pulled off on the side of the road while we were headed up to Canoe Lake, which is a very popular place to trout fish. And all of a sudden we see these beautiful pools from the side of the road. Walk down, guess what? We're doing a little trout fishing today, but we didn't get what we came for. We came here to try to find some beautiful golden rainbows today. Unfortunately, this water is a little high and muddy from all the rains that have happened here in early May. And guess what? You can't see in there, we can't spot them. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna come out here today and fish Potsky Balls of Fire salmon eggs. And you're gonna see us go out here and try to catch as many rainbows as we can in a few hours. Remember, none of us have ever been here before. You know, none of us even knew it was on the map. We're just driving through, going to somewhere else and ended up stopping here to see how we can do. Now let's see if our eggs work somewhere where none of us have any knowledge at all about. Rainbow. Go ahead, catch one. Double it up. Okay, we just got to this spot. We just walked down here, never been here before. Found a nice long stretch, uh, deeper water here. Most of the creek is pretty shallow. So we're gonna fish this, hopefully pick up a couple fish. We found high muddy water we got here today. So in my opinion, I would think let's fish closer to shore out of the main current. Let's see where they're at and let's see what we can do with some Putsky eggs, natural deluxe. Same exactly. <laughs> that is a rainbow. On the yellow jackets, they're absolutely loving. Finally it switched up a little bit, and boom! It didn't take long. The fish whisperer. Think it's another rainbow? Yeah. Sure are a lot of bows in here. Leo, I think you got one. Set the hook. Yes. Fish on. 
Come on. Ooh, another rainbow. There's a lot of rainbows in here today. Nice one. Another man. rainbow. You're the rainbow king today. <laughs> No. You, you've been casting to the same spot all day. I have. And somehow you're still catching them. What the heck is going on over here? There's fish here and I'm trying to catch more. Why do you think they're there? Uh, they're out of this car in here. They don't, the fish, they like, think of a fish, a trout, or any fish as a big fish is going to be lazy. Like, they don't want to exert a lot of energy. They want to come out here. They want to hang out in this slack water and then they see food coming down in the fast water it'll dart out eat it come back in be lazy again so that's what we're targeting the fish right out here in this slack water and that's where we've been finding them we caught a ton of fish in the same hole all day today what's crazy to me though is it, how did you how did how were you able to set up and catch fish in an area where the visibility is very limited at, at best uh, I'm doing it with my usual I'm doing the same thing that I always do use a float to keep it up off the bottom and then a split shot you want to keep your eggs down and then this dirty water like this I'm going to use a 12 14 size hook you want to put three four eggs on it just for a bigger presentation so it's easier for the fish to see right now we got I don't know a foot two feet of visibility and for them fish to eat it in this it has to be right in their face so we want them no way <laughs> you got the bottom <laughs> so we want, Look at the excitement. Look at the excitement of that guy. <laughs> so, so we want these fish, we want them to be able to see our presentation to them, our Potsky eggs. We want to see it from a distance instead of it being right up on our face. So we go with a bigger profile. I mean, I get asked, hey, what's your favorite color egg? And it's not about a favorite color egg. You start out with what you think is going to work best that day. And of course, you got dirty water, so we're going to go with a brighter egg. And then you catch a couple fish on a brighter egg, 10, 12, 15 casts, and then the bite slows down. And then you want to go to a different color, but a brighter egg. For instance, today we started out with a very bright egg, great for dirty water, clear water also. You got the Putski shrimp eggs, the pink shrimp eggs. They work wonderful today, tons of fish on them, but eventually they got tired of them. So we went to the yellow jackets, another bright color, perfect for dirty water. Caught a couple fish on them, stopped biting. So you keep going down the line. I call it, you want it to be like a carnival because there's colors and you just want to pick whatever you think is gonna work. Folks, don't let this man lie to you. Look at his thumb and look at his rod tip. Let me see the top of your thumb. You know what all that is? That is glitter. All over the rod. From the gold label and the silver label. You can see it on his thumb, you can see it on the rod. That's another thing you gotta consider. I mean, you're, you're constantly switching up all day long, which is great, but <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, James is not from central Pennsylvania. He's from Pittsburgh and he loves to trout fish. He spent his life trout fishing. I kind of forced him to come over to the central part of the state, do something a little bit different. How would you compare the waters here to what you're used to seeing in, in, in Western PA? Um, this is, it's pretty similar. I mean, it's a small creek. It's not a large creek. Me personally, I like smaller creeks. This is what I enjoy fishing. I like it because there's a variety of Currents here, pulls, slack water, you got runs, and that's where the fish are gonna be at. And you could use them techniques as I use Western PA. You, as everyone knows, I love fishing Erie. So we're gonna use imply and use the same techniques I use there, here. It's just, it, it works, why change? How do you know what kind of line to use when you're out here? You wanna go, my, my personal thing that I say to people is you want to use the lightest line possible that makes you feel comfortable but still catch fish. Me personally, I like four pond test. It doesn't matter, green, clear, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a <coughs> thin diameter, you're going to catch fish. That's all that it matters. You use thin line, you're going to catch fish. But you want to use it heavy enough to where if you get hung up on the bottom, you want to jiggle your rod a couple times and pull it out of the rocks. Or if you hook a branch, you want to be able to bring a branch in. Or of course, what everyone wants is a big fish. You want to be able to control a big fish. And that's the biggest thing. Boom. Right where you thought it was going to be too. Nice, is it? That seam right outside of them white bubbles. 
classic trout spot in Little Streams. Is it another rainbow? It is. A little bit bigger size. On the natural deluxe, second cast in the new hole. Nice. That is much bigger than the last one. Yes. It's a good size. That's a slab compared to the ones we've been catching. Here. Yeah, he's nice. We'll take him. A 14, 15 incher. He's definitely bigger than the last couple. Yeah, he's not bad. Good pan size, good eater size. Get back in there and grow, big dog. Grow. Here he goes. Nice healthy release. We're fishing today at Canoe Creek. Uh, it's in Canoe Creek State Park here in central Pennsylvania. Uh, we're roughly about 15 minutes from Altoona, uh, anywhere from 30 minutes uh, up to an hour to State College, depending on where you are. And uh, you know, we're about two and a half hours from Pittsburgh right now. And the reason why a lot of people like this place is it's heavily stocked. Uh, it's also a place where there's a lot of public access. Uh, because of a state park, there's plenty of areas where you can simply drive up to the side of the road uh, walk 20 yards and find a nice big hole, large fishing hole. Uh, another thing to consider is from the opener in April all the way through May you'll find tremendous uh, amount of good public access, a lot of rainbow trout. Uh, they also put some browns, we're told, and a few golden rainbows in here as well. So there are plenty of opportunities available for somebody that wants to do any kind of fishing. Um, clearly we caught all of our fish today on Potski Balls of Fire salmon eggs. As you can see the guys used several different kind of salmon eggs. Uh, unfortunately after you catch a few and uh, sore lip a few of them, uh, we did release most of our fish today, uh, they get sick of that egg. So once you, you use chartreuse garlic X amount of times, then you use pink shrimp, uh, then we switched over to a little bit of gold label and silver label. Uh, Natural Deluxe probably produced the most fish today. Uh, we did catch a couple on orange deluxe and yellow jackets as well. You know the key is uh, most of the time you may have issues with clarity here. Uh, this is a stream that can take up to two weeks to clear uh, after a rain. So as you can see today the conditions are not optimal. Uh, you can't do any sight fishing. Uh, you're going to have to kind of read the water and figure out where the fish might be in order to find success. You know we, we have less than probably a half foot, maybe a foot of visibility in some of these areas. Uh, but beyond that you're not going to be able to spot any fish today. You're going to just have to use your knowledge as an angler walk up downstream look for holes look for pools places where those fish might be hanging out uh, again this is kind of place where you probably want to put four pound test on you don't need to go to two pound test simply because this is not one of those gym clear uh, streams that you'd find in certain parts of the state uh, here in central pa most of the holes are pretty gradual slow moving holes where it's pretty obvious to find those fish Mine. <laughs> That's mine. Attaboy. <laughs>